Okay, hello everybody, Paul Richards here with Huddle Cam HD, and we're in our last video of this series where we're showing off live streaming systems, and this is a multiple camera live streaming system where we have 120x camera, where we're using it to really zoom in and capture a head and shoulder shot up to 35, 45, 50 feet away. And then we have our Huddle Cam 3XA behind me here, which is going to be used to capture an overview of the, of the um, space and actually add some ambient audio. So we're going to have two audio sources. And um, before we get started, let me just lay out what we're going to talk about here. So this is system number five. This is roughly a $2,000 budget. And first what we'll do is we'll do an overview. So we will look at the system overview and we'll, we'll show how everything plugs in and how everything sets up. Then we'll set up the cameras. We'll set up the cameras. Nobody uses cursive anymore. Three, we'll set up the microphones. Set up the mics. And then finally, we'll look at the software. Um, I'm going to suggest OBS. That's a free live streaming software. You can also use Wirecast or VMix if you want to get fancy and do things. But I think for affordable budget streaming, this is what we're going to recommend. I'm going to take you through everything. So let's start with the overview. So as you can see here, I'm going to take this full screen. Uh, we've got our 20x camera. You can get these cameras in white or black. So I'm showing both here. This requires a USB 3.0 input. So it, you do need a USB 3.0 port to get the full 1080p resolution, but it looks so much better than 2.0, just in sharpness and clarity. Now the 2.0s are still great. They're still 1080, but you're gonna notice, it's one of those things you can notice the difference. With the 2.0, we're gonna use it for our um, crowd shot, and we are going to also use it to add some audio. So this microphone has, this camera has a microphone built in so we can capture the audience, we can capture clapping, things like that, much better than we could with a lapel mic that's going to be on our presenter. Then we've got our, our lapel mic here that's on our presenter and optionally, not included in that $2,000 budget, is a joystick controller, which is $299, um, but it's not included. Okay, so that's our overview of our system. Now let me show you how to set the cameras up. So easy. So here's our tripod. We're going to start by putting the 20X there. We're just going to stick it right on the tripod and plug it into power and then plug in. Um, we will plug in the USB 2.0 for video as well, or 3.0 for video. Same thing with our 3XA here. We're going to go ahead and add that to a tripod, plug in the power plug in the USB 2.0 for a video, tighten it onto there nice and tight with the tightening screw depending on the tripod mount that you have. And we've got two cameras, usually flanking the camera. So, or you could actually extend this uh, camera up to the front of the stage and get a ca capture the shot of the people looking, looking towards the people. So you've got a crowd shot as well. It's, I highly recommend that as well. So we've got our cameras set up. What about audio? Well, with the audio, I've already got this plugged in, but basically, let me zoom into this so you can really see it. Um, it's a USB 2.0 plug that goes right into your computer. This goes up to 100 feet away from your um, space. So if you want to go about 100 feet away, I would recommend 50. You usually do half of what the manufacturer is claiming. Indoors only. This does not work outdoors. I've tried it. And we plug it in USB 2 to the computer. It has a little belt pack. These are $99 from Samsung. You can get a headset or a lapel, plug it in, give the speaker their headset or their lapel mic and put this on, turn it on and you're good to go. And now let's show you how to bring all this through in the streaming software and I'm going to show OBS for this platform. Now if you followed along before you can see we've already got two ca the two cameras set up here. Um, so we've got our two cameras set up and we've got a picture in picture we were doing. Uh, here's a picture in picture. A lot of different ways to do this. Maybe have this one be large in the background and then have a picture in picture. A lot of different ways to lay things out. Um, and then there's our, our 10X there. So basically, the way this works, if you hadn't seen the other videos, is that you can have scenes. And you, tra you can transition between the scenes and each scene can hold multiple sources. So you see I have a logo here. Maybe you have a logo of your event, a 
camera and a microphone. So let me just remove the camera and the microphone and re-add it to show you from the beginning. You hit the plus button here, audio input, we'll call this the XPD1 mic, create new, and then down here we're going to choose the Samson receiver, wireless receiver, click OK. And that is our audio. You can see it going down there, and that is actually going to stay no matter where we go. Now, that's the one thing. Is that it depend, if you're going to be switching scenes, you want to have that audio input on both spaces. So you choose existing, XPD1 mic. Now you can see it's live there. So it's persistent throughout each space. you got to make sure that you have your audio that you want included on each scene. Okay? So... We've got our audio, now let's add our camera. And we'll go in here to video capture device. We'll add our 3X, and there's our camera now if we put it below the logo, and it goes like that. So that's how we transition between the multiple cameras. That's a pretty quick down and dirty uh, layout. We have a complete course on OBS if you want to learn more. And then in the settings section here where you hit the stream, this is where you can set it to go where you need it to go. So whether it's YouTube or Facebook or another destination, you can put it all in there, hit start streaming, and you're live streaming your event. It's that easy, guys. Plug and play products really make it super easy to set this up and affordable. So this is our five systems under $2,000. Check out the other videos if you haven't seen them. And as always, don't forget to like this video if you're interested in this type of stuff. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We have a live show every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.